and we begin the show right here in Accra where we meet a group of young dancers. To them, dance is not just a fun hobby, it's also a form of self-expression and representation of their culture. And thanks to social media, the popular group known as Dancing with a Purpose or DWP gets to share their talent with the rest of the world. They spoke to me about their love for dancing, their motivation and the kind of impact dancing has had on their lives. They also taught me a few moves, so let's check them out. I'm in Accra, Ghana. I'm here to cover the World Cup, but what is the World Cup without music and dance? And one of my favorite dance groups in the whole world is Dancing with a Purpose, best here in Accra. And I'm here with the whole group. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. So I am a big fan. Thank you so much for spreading love and joy through dance. Uh, so right next to me is Endurance. I'm sure mo most of you guys have watched her. Uh, and everybody, the group, today's Afronita. Her birthday, show her, show her, show her. Happy birthday. <laughs> Endurance, how did you start off? How did the group start? And what do you hope to achieve through dance? Okay, how did I start? Uh, I didn't believe I was gonna be here, but I think I had to sit back and make some certain decisions that was going to affect me positively. And then I found DWP Academy. And since then, it's been all glory, grace, mm. greatness. How has dance changed your life? A lot. Um, down to my family, down to friends, mm. and down to people I've not even met. It's like, it makes me happy. And something that makes you happy actually would also make other people happy. Absolutely. So that's what I, I agree with you 100%. Me. Are you guys all from uh, around here in Accra? Do you come from different provinces? No, the interesting thing is we all come from different parts of Ghana. Mm. And dance has brought us together. Danita Yeboah, who goes by the names Afronita, has become a sensation on social media, racking up millions of views on platforms like TikTok and Instagram. She says that through dance, she has gained a family and also been exposed to new people from different cultures around the world. My story is, is personal, but this is about all of us. So we all come from different backgrounds. We all come from different families with different training. And then we found ourselves here. We didn't just learn how to dance, or we didn't just learn how to perfect our dance moves, but we learned how to become a family. We learned how to associate ourselves with different people from different culture. We learned how to build our brands. We learned how to do other things aside dance. So DWP didn't just make us dancers, but it made us great people and it's still making us better people for the mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. Anita says that social media has been a game changer for young dancers. It has helped many grow their audiences and gain professional opportunities. So I think social media has done great good to us because it's through social media we are able to express who we are to other people. It's through social media we are able to inspire other people to want to be dancers. It's through social media we are able to even save lives because probably there's someone out there trying to commit suicide and they see your video and the person feels happy or the person feels like there's a reason why she should have some hope to continue living. So social media has done great good to us. It has helped us even to get jobs because most of the jobs we get is for social media. Mm. Yes. Social media has done great good Absolutely. To us. Rachel, coming to you. For this woman, crazy energy, so infectious. How did so you start much. into dancing? Okay, so way back in school, I really loved dancing. So in school, normal choreography is the leader. Yes, <laughs> and then with the same energy, but then I wanted it to become something part of me. Mm. So I wanted it to become like my profession, like how somebody would wake up early in the morning, put on suits and go sit in the office. I'd want to wake up early in the morning, put on my sneakers and come for work. Yes, so that's, that is how I wanted it to be part of mm. my life. 